I mean, okay. I think this uh, masculine at this time, they are definitely uh, adapting this, this new way of looking at things, of uh, doing things, right? It's a much calmer energy than the recent readings we've had. We are doing a Twin Flame Energy Check-In, and today we're going to take a look at the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. We're going to take a look at their energies, get one card for each of their thoughts, their feelings, and any actions and intentions at this time. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's start with the Divine Masculine. What is the Divine Masculine's thoughts at this time? We have the Seven of Wands to start off with their thoughts and their feelings. Okay, so their feelings. We have the, the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Swords. And when it comes to their intentions and actions, we have the Ace of Wands. Okay, all right. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So that could be kind of the theme of their energy at this time. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Divine Masculine. What are the Divine Masculine's thoughts? Why do we have the Seven of Wands? So when it comes to their thoughts, um, they could be delaying or putting off some kind of ending when it comes to a commitment, um, marriage, maybe a job, could be a friendship. It seems to be their current energy. So they could be dealing with some kind of ending in some area of their life. But right now they're, they're kind of putting that off. They're delaying it potentially. Okay, um, what about their feelings? Why do we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Swords for their feelings? So there's something about how they feel the right time will come. That's what I'm getting. It's like they're feeling like the right time will come. So they're not actively or proactively strategizing, organizing, taking action, because I think they feel like when it's meant to happen is when they, they will then take the action they need to take. So there, this, is a, this is a masculine this time that's not making any kind of movements, okay? When it comes to their thoughts, their feelings, they're kind of just letting things flow, letting things happen in a way. A little bit of resistance here, yes, but I also just kind of feel like they're doing this because it's a very laid back, chill kind of energy um, from what I'm sensing. What is this Ace of Wands when it comes to, to their intentions and actions? What is this Ace of Wands for their intentions, actions? So that's not to say that they're not motivated or they're not passionate about something. They're, they're holding on to that energy. Um, I think they've probably done a lot of thinking here um, about the best way to go about things. And again, if there's something about timing, it's like they've learned. So this is either life experience that has given them this energy or they've learned in some way that things that are meant to happen should not be rushed. Things that are meant to happen will happen when it's meant to happen. So they're adopting this energy. And so even when it comes to their intentions and actions, they're holding on to, to the desire that they have here, but they're also accepting that things might take time. So they're not rushing themselves right now, which is actually a pretty good energy if you ask me. <laughs> that, that seems really good. Um, let's get an overall check in for their energy as well like just a little more of an extended look okay 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 
Well, I mean, okay. I think this uh, masculine at this time, they are definitely uh, adapting this, this new way of looking at things, of uh, doing things, right? It's a much calmer energy than the recent readings we've had. But it, it is kind of saying, don't let that fool you. It's like they want to tell this feminine, don't let that fool you. I still have a lot of passion. I still think about you and I still am very much tempted. Um, but this is how they are approaching the situation at this time. Now they could also be um, a pa Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like at times this masculine does get very nostalgic, right? About the connection, especially when they think about this feminine. I think when they think about this feminine at the current, in the current energy, when they think about this feminine, there's a lot of passion that they're feeling here, a lot of temptation. So I think when they think about this feminine, that's the kind of energy that is at the forefront of, of what they think about. But it's, it's like it's saying, don't, don't let, don't let, don't let this fool you because I still want you very much. Like that's how it's coming off at least. Um, that's very interesting. Why don't we get some messages from this twin flame message deck? Um, what does this, uh, masculine want to say? Okay. What do they want to say to their feminine? What they want to say our connection is beyond distance and time absolutely coincides with the way that they're going about things where they're not rushing they're knowing it needs time um i long for your touch <laughs> missing you is unbearable you are my beauty I see the signs, the synchronicities. They have a lot to say, actually. <laughs> they have a lot to say. Um, and lastly, I will come back. I feel like a sense of calm over this masculine. It's like somehow, to them at least, somehow they know. They know the time will come. Um, in the meantime, when they think about the feminine, they're feeling rather passionate about the feminine at this time. Um, probably recreating scenarios or things like that and so that's really what what the energy is for the masculine um, hopefully that helped you guys let's go on to the feminine let's let's see what the feminine is what's their energy at this time okay what are the feminine's thoughts at this time okay thoughts for the feminine okay they have the death card for their thoughts, their feelings. What are their feelings? Okay, feelings. Got the chariot in reverse for the feelings and intentions and actions. Okay, we've got the temperance card. All right. Mm, nine of wands in reverse. Okay. All right, let's get into it. Um, why do we have the death card for their thoughts? there okay mm, all right so I'm kind of sensing the feminine at this time is not trusting their intuition they don't know what to think they don't know what to think I think because there's been a lot of distance in time, which is so funny because that the masculine was just saying there's no distance in time between this connection, but this this is obviously saying that the feminine is feeling the distance in time and is as more time is passing, they are feeling more and more unsure about the connection. Okay. Um, There's something about the way that you know they look at this the, they look at the masculine and i think this feminine is is not that that's wrong or bad um it should actually be a, a good even balance but i feel like they're going into their masculine energy a little bit more um i feel like they really want to be logical and they want to be stable 
in their energy and they want to be in control of their emotions, right? So I think the more that they are doubting this connection, the more that they're becoming logical about it, the more that they're not letting their feelings get the best of them, which is actually a plus, right? It's just that they're putting the whole entire connection into question. And I guess that's why the masculine came off with that message we saw earlier. Um, what is the chariot in reverse? Why is this their feelings? Again, it's just coming off a little more masculine. Um, it's this energy of, okay, well, things aren't moving forward. I don't know what's going on. And if I don't know what's going on, then I don't want to go in this direction anymore. So it's like the feminine is taking more control of their, the, their side of the situation. But as they look into it, they're just looking into it a little more with logic. Um, it's like they need it to make sense and it doesn't make any sense. And if it doesn't make any sense, then I'm not going to pursue it. So that's what's showing up for the feminine. What about the temperance card in reverse? What is this intentions and actions with the temperance card? I mean... You know, the feminine right now, they don't feel at peace. They feel like things are very shaky. They're very... I think they want to put an end to the uncertainty. They want to put an end to, to the doubt and uncertainty. And I feel like they feel like, you know, if I don't know what to do about this situation, if I don't know what this connection means, maybe I should just put an end to it. Maybe it's not my path. And maybe I should go explore new things that will make me feel like life makes sense. And that's how it's all really coming off for this feminine at this time with their thoughts, their feelings, and intentions and actions. Um, let's take a little more of a look. All right, let's get a little more extended energy for them. Not enough. Heartbroken. Abundance. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, it's funny because this comes up in their energy, but they're doubting the whole journey. And it is because they're battling with, with how, how this journey makes sense. I feel like they're battling with it. Like, all of the things that they know about this journey, they're putting it into question now, okay? And it is probably because there's been distance, there's been time, no communication, whatever is creating this energy for them. It makes them feel like they're not enough because, you know, the distance, the separation, it's making them feel like, you know, it's actually bringing up their own triggers here, their ego maybe, their frustrations. Definitely a lot of heartbreak, um, feeling of loss, right? The sadness. But I think um, they're also realizing that they're needing to choose, right? To heal. They're needing to choose to be positive, to set their own kind of mindset, I guess, and into how to look into this connection. I feel like they've had that sudden revelation about it. Um, and I think that's why they're in this energy. Because although... I feel like although deep down they know this connection means something, but because they're not seeing anything tangible, it's becoming more and more unreal to them. It's becoming more and more something that's not possible. Whereas the, the masculine's energy, they continue to hold on to the connection. They don't take action. They don't do anything. They're letting timing and destiny maybe make its, you know, work its way towards the, them to make this connection work it, they're they're at the opposite ends of this connection um this masculine and this feminine so that's what i'm getting um what would the feminine say to this masculine what would they like to say oh my 
Okay, so the feminine would like to say that your love heals me. Can you forgive me? Dreaming of you. I am not ready for us yet. I'm going to be honest, it's looking like that. Because if we look at the energies, it looks like the masculine is more ready for this connection than the feminine, although the masculine is not taking any action, right? It's funny because they're not taking action, but yet they're looking like they're ready, they're prepared, they're calm, they're waiting for the opportunity when it's going to happen. Whereas this feminine, maybe they're in this energy because unintentionally or unconsciously, they're still trying to make sense of the whole thing and it's making them use the excuse of, oh, I've been in separation with this person. I haven't talked to this person. I don't know what this connection means. When it may just be that they're not really ready for this connection just yet. They're not ready for it to come in. Which is a little funny because, you know, but I guess that's what the energy is at this time for these two people. Um, let's go ahead and get oracle guidance for the masculine and the feminine so let's let's let it see how it resonates for either one okay what is the guidance to close out the reading okay right action right action it says oh gosh there's a that, there's that word again a perigra i hope i'm saying that correctly literally means let everything that wants to go go and everything that wants to come come okay and we've got deepening, okay? Once you're on earth for enough lifetimes, your old soul will begin to long for non-grasping detachment and surrender. They bring the peace of God. Loss. Sometimes you learn true offering through loss. You make a passionate invitation for love to take over and bring her own plan instead of the ego's. freedom. I no longer want this fiery ring of resentment to block the good. Release me from its bonds. Then we've got courage. Let me be open to courageously take the steps that are shown. So I'm really getting that the guidance here, which is so funny because the masculine is actually more in the energy of just trusting the journey. I know not really actively doing anything because they know that when it's meant to happen, it will happen. Um, Whereas the feminine, they're really being guided to detach in the right way, to surrender, which is, I don't know if this is just a setback for, for, for the feminines or just part of the journey, the chapter that, you know, needs to play out here, but they need to detach in a way where they're still very much trusting in the journey what this feminine is doing right now is detaching and trying to detach completely because it doesn't make sense right with that lost card i think i think this feminine you know they're being guided to not not really that it's a loss but to just accept that whatever plan is being carried out is going to be carried out in the way that it needs to in the time that it needs to happen which this masculine is obviously showing that they're trusting in that in that idea right so that's what i have for the masculine and feminine energies at this time very interesting kind of twist to the to the story at the you know during this journey and i think we'll do another check-in soon um particularly on the masculine and and the feminine individually. And yeah, that's what I have.